Okay, here we go. Number 20 from the geometric sequence in the series scenario. So, the sum of the first two terms of geometric series, well, I know that's going to be u1 plus u1r. That has to be 162. And I know if it's the first four terms, well, the first term plus the second term plus the third term plus the fourth term has to be 180. So, well, let's do a little substituting here. I got U1s and R's. I'm going to see if I can simplify this somehow. So, I'm going to substitute this with this. I'm going to plug it into here. So, when I have that, I end up with 162 plus, and then when I'm here, I'm going to factor out a U1 R squared parenthesis 1 plus r equals 180. And so I know also then that u1, ooh, u1, let's try that a little bit better. I can say that u1 r squared 1 plus r equals subtract the 162 I get 18. Still two variables. Well, let's go back over to this equation and we'll rewrite this scenario. If I factor out u1, I know u1, 1 plus r equals 162. And so u1, 1 is equal to 162 divided by 1 plus r, in parenthesis. And I'm again going to take this and I'm going to substitute this value into here. So when I get that, I end up with u1 is really 162 divided by 1 plus r times the r squared. 1 plus r is equal to 18. Well, I can see that there's some nice canceling out to do. I can cancel, cancel. And so I get, divide by 162, r squared equals 18 over 162, which is equal to 1 ninth. If I take the square root of both sides, r is going to be plus or minus one third. So we have two values for r. We have to go now and find my u. Going to find u, u1, I can use this scenario here. So u1 equals 162 1 plus 1 third or I can say 162 1 minus one third. So do little calculations here. This is one sixty two over four thirds, which is one sixty two times three quarters, which is one sixty two divided four times three is equal to 121.5. This is the first term, or it could also be 162 over 2 thirds, which is 162 times 3 over 2, which now is simply 243. 243. So I have u1 and r. Now it says, the problem says, if we keep on going here, it says find the sum of the first six terms. Well, we know the sum for a geometric series is, the sum for a geometric series, our formula is s sub n is equal to u1 
1 minus r to the nth, all over 1 minus r. Well, I have two different values for r and for u1. So if I have u1, I get 121.5, and that was when r was, uh, what was r? That was my negative one-third or positive one-third? Positive one-third. This is positive one-third. And I'll also do it if u1 equals 121.5, where r is equal to negative one-third. And I'm looking for n equal to 6. So I can say s sub 6 is equal to 121.5, 1 minus 1 third to the 6th over 1 minus 1 third, which equals 121.5, 1 minus 1 over 729. And that is going to be over 2 thirds. And if we finish this all off, I get 121.5 times 728 divided by 729. And then I'm going to divide that by 2 divided by 3. And I get 182. Again, if I check the other scenario, though, using this scenario, where I have the different u's, I go s sub 6. I get 121. Hold on. 243. Let's fix that. This is going to be 243. 243. Or the negative. Just let me check my numbers for the negative one. Yep, that works good. So if I take my calculations, I get. 243, 1 minus a negative 1 third to the 6th over a 1 minus a negative 1 third. Well, that's going to be 243. And again, it's going to be 1 minus 1 over 729 over over four thirds. Four thirds. And if I throw that into my calculator, I get two, four, three. Times. Again, I get one eighty two. Either way, I get the same sum. The second part of the question says, find also two possible values for the sixth term. Well, u6 six, six is equal to u1r to the n minus 1. So if I take 121.5, r is 1 third to the fifth, I get, when I do that, I get one value that is going to be 1 to 1 1.5 times 1 divide 3. Mm -hmm. I get 1 half. When I take the other combinations of terms, I get 243 times negative 1 third to the fifth, and that ends up being negative 1.